Hey everybody, this is Guitars and Synths. I got my um, plugin working on my new MacBook Pro for my virus. So the software is Aura Plugins Mystery Island. It allows you to use the virus features on a new Mac OS. So I, it was kind of a pain to get working, but I configured the virus for MIDI. So like now I can go into my patch librarian and this is uh, running the, um, this is a brand new MacBook Pro. This is uh, running uh, the uh, Ventura, which the virus plugin software doesn't work with. So I bought a copy of this to try out and I bought it mainly for two reasons. I wanted to use Logic 10.7 and a newer MacBook software. And so, um, and Axis drops support for uh, developing new versions that work with new versions of the Mac OS. So um, the cool thing about this is that you can do the patch librarian. So if I want to load in here, you can see all my factories. Like if I want to go to my ROMs and I want to go down to say, uh, I think it's uh, Z is the Howard Scar ones. So sometimes there's, I'm still learning how to use this, allow library control on request data. So some of this is new to me. I haven't used this sync data from hardware. So this has to do some processing over USB. And uh, it was pretty easy to set up. I had to go into the settings on the MIDI on both this software and on the uh, virus. But most of the settings were already set on the virus because I had to use it for MIDI with my other devices. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. And uh, so right now I'm just using the plugin. What I like about this is you can use the plugin by itself without a DAW. So if you have a MIDI sequencer, um, which I'm gonna test in a minute, right now I'm not using my Hapix sequencer. So you can change all this arpeggiator mode. So I'm gonna pick uh, random. Let's try a pattern. Uh, do something fun. Mix this up a bit. I'm just learning the software. It's new to me, so bear with me here. Um, so if I go over to my virus, I'll play something. Turn it down a bit. So we can see it's in hold mode. So we can change this. Isn't that cool? So it is working. Turn this down a bit, it's pretty loud. I'm blown away by how loud the virus actually is. So we can go here to our virus. Sorry, it's, this screen is kind of messed up, but I loaded in these presets and it worked. So over USB. And I can still go into each part and use the keyboard, which is nice. I wanna play the keyboard. So it's pretty awesome how I can do that. So I can kind of globally control everything. So yeah, it's working, I'm really happy. So I can change the tempo. I can change my pattern. So if I wanna create some patterns here. I'm still learning this, so it's all new to me. Notably, we can hold this. So that's kind of cool. So I pick a random pattern. I have to read the manual some more on this to get the hang of it. So you can change the step link, which is cool. So that's that one. If I go here into the first one, I can set the, uh, here we go. So I can set these steps up, set them off. Yeah, I think Kemper should hire these guys and hire um, the other developer that came up with the iPad app to uh, develop the next generation of virus and also to um, update the software. Oh, so when you do that, it turns that off so you can create your own arpeggiators, which is pretty sweet. 
So you can turn these different steps off. And then if I go to the mixer, you can set the master clock, which is pretty awesome. So this is actually like way better than the TI application. All right, you can change all this stuff. This does more than the actual plugin. I'm glad I got it. You can change all the control and stuff. So if I go to my filters, I can screw around with that. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say this. I bought this software because I was continuously frustrated by the Kemper plugin software crashing and hanging on my other computers, even though I ran a Windows 10 and a supported OS of the Mac, a really old version, which annoyed me because I couldn't use the new version of Mac OS, which is required to run the last version, the new version of Logic. And Logic, the new version of Logic is super awesome. So I was really mad about that. And it was my stupidity buying a virus knowing it's a kind of a legacy product, but it does so many things really well in 23 that it's pretty much almost untouchable as a synth in a lot of ways. So we can change these kind of things, which is cool. Little oscillators, wave table. So I just have these presets now. And so you can load, this is cool. So you can go, you can change the oscillators for each of the multi timbral 16 parts, which is pretty cool. And so you got your patch library in. So if I want to load something into part five, and, and I can go into the arpeggiator and turn that on, because you have to turn it on for each part. So if I do this, but I don't know, maybe there's like a limit to what you can do on it. I'm still learning a virus. So it's pretty cool, I'm glad I can do that. And I can go over here and look at my virus here. So I go here. I can turn on picture. So do something fun here. That's part two. So you can see it's using USB. I know it's kind of hard to screen. Yeah, I can still do this stuff. I like use the use the knobs. kind of cool. So I can go over here. So yeah, it's working. I haven't tested it with a DAW yet. I just wanted to see if I could get the plugin working by itself. And this is what another reason the mod matrix here. So you can go and you can set all these controls. It just makes life so much easier for the mod matrix because it's scrolling through the menus is a big pain in the ass. So you can go filter and cut off. Next filter. So there's so much you can do. All right, I don't want to screw around with that. Then I can just kind of change these here. Because if you try to do this on the menu, you're going to go blind. So we can see here on the setting on the Mac, you have to choose MIDI plugin IO, controller input only. So when I get the license 3.0 version of it. So now if I go and open Logic, <clears throat> I want to see if I can get it to work with the plugin and Logic. So no, it doesn't transmit sound, it's MIDI. So a lot of you would say there's no sound. Well, you still have to have it hooked up to MIDI. Right, so I'm going to create a new project. 
Alright, that's fine. I'm going to do Logic Pro settings, audio. So, virus yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's what I want. So I'm going to actually add a new audio track. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this stupid piano. I'm going to add a um, software instrument track. Uh, let's see. Where is my... Where is this? I gotta figure this out. I don't see it on my list of... Anyways, I'll figure it out later. But the nice thing is being able to do these changes without having to use the plugin over USB. Oh, let's try something. I have my Haptic sequencer. Let's turn this on and use it. See if it works. I want to see before I, I, I'm off tomorrow, but I want to see before I do anything else tonight, if I can use the USB and MIDI at the same time, because that will allow me to record. I have my Zoom recorder, so I don't even have to use the DAW. If I can control the virus for the plugin software without having to use the DAW. So here we want to see what MIDI, all right, so let's try this. I'm going to try a sequence. Let's go. Let's Maybe it's not except for that. Huh, interesting. Maybe there's that maybe it doesn't maybe you can't use them both at the same time. So it looks like I can't do that. So I'm trying to send MIDI. I guess cause USB it can only even though I said it's USB and MIDI on the virus. You have to figure that one out. I might have to manually scroll through the presets to use my haptics with it. Because this is like on all these, it's the MIDI. So the haptics, you set your MIDI channel. So I don't know. But anyways, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's like anything else. Nothing's perfect. Yeah, it's not working on it. That's okay. I'm, I'm not going to... It's one of those things I gotta figure out. It's not actually doing anything. So I think you have to use, yeah. So I think my discovery tonight, let me turn this down, it sounds like a frog croaking. My discovery tonight is that if you're gonna use USB with the virus, the MIDI, and you're also gonna use a plugin with uh, Aura plugins, that you can't use the MIDI sequencer with it. I try I tried it just now and it didn't work. So I think you have an either or chicken or an egg situation. Um but I do like that this is a really nice application that works on the modern version of Mac OS. So you got your PAX library which is really nice because if I want to load stuff um I actually want to do go to T, I think is what I want. So this one, this is T, and then um, I think U, let's see if I got hat. Uh, v. Oh, you know what? Because I have to go sync data from hardware. So, because for some reason it, I don't know. I'm learning this application as well, so it's kind of, everything is new to me. The virus, the Hapix, the virus plugins. So it's a learning experience for me. So um, looks like it's doing that. So it's communicating with the virus, which is good because that wasn't working. So like now, okay, so let me see if I want to go virus TI ROM, W, what? This is really strange. Huh. So let's see. X. Um, let's see, this is weird. I'm gonna be really mad if it wiped out my virus stuff. Um, no matter. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I've been curious about this since.